I'm not getting that paper. Good afternoon, Mr. J. Cox. Um, I want to ask you a few questions on your interview. Would you please state your name and spell it for me, please? Yes, my given name by my parents is William Henry J. Cox, W-I-L-L-I-A-M, Henry, H-E-N-R-Y, J. Cox, J-A-C-O-C-K-S, and my African name is Ratibu Shadidi, R-A-T-I-B-U, Shadidi, S-H-A-D-I-D-I. -I. Mr. J. Cox, where were you born? I was born in Norfolk, Virginia in 1943. Okay. Um, who were your parents? And I was born, I am the fourth child to Annie Mae Hesbeth Jacox and James A. Jacox. And they met in North Carolina and moved to Virginia where they got married. And they lived in a place that called Berkeley, Berkeley, in Norfolk, Virginia. Could you tell me what was your life like? As, right after I was born, we moved to a place called Deep Creek, Virginia. And that's the suburb of Norfolk, in Norfolk County. And we lived in a four-room house in Deep Creek, uh, Virginia. And the life was uh, really good. I don't, uh, at the beginning, uh, that's the only place I remember living in Deep Creek. I don't really have any memory of living in Norfolk, but I do remember growing up in Deep Creek and the life was really good there. A lot of people talked to each other. A lot of people, everyone knew each other and everyone knew the family. So we were all involved in the community. Okay. Um, could you tell me something about your schools? What activities did you involve yourself in? Well, I started school at Deep Creek Elementary School. It was a two-room school that taught five grades in two rooms. And I was in the same grade with my sister. And I remember she was one year older than I. I was, and so what happened was she was very intelligent, very smart. I tried to keep up with her, and when I got in the first grade, the teacher expected me to know as much as my sister Catherine, although I didn't, but I was motivated by her knowledge in their early grades. And then from Deep Creek Elementary School, we went to a school called Southwestern elementary school and we stayed there a couple of years and then in sixth grade we went to Bell's Mill Elementary School and then in the seventh grade we went to Crestwood High School. Okay and I also see here that you played uh, baseball. Yeah well growing up the uh, elders or the older men in the community wanted us to stay busy that was one of the things Henderson, Henderson Jackson said. And when I asked him, why did you start the baseball team? We were nine years old, eight and some was 10. And we started the team. He said he wanted us to stay busy and not get into trouble. So we organized a baseball team when I was nine years old. Did you get into a lot of trouble when you were small? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I imagine so. I was the uh, white sheep in my family, and I was always a little different than the uh, other people. And I was very uh, involved with the community because I delivered papers also when I was around nine years old, my brother and I newspapers. So we had about 200 customers and we went all over the area delivering the people, the papers. So we were very much involved in knowing the uh, community as well. But also, Flo, we also earned money. We earned mm -hmm. money uh, even before then. When I was five years old, mm -hmm. I earned money by going to the stores for people in the neighborhood. 
my daddy fixed up a wagon that my brother had and it was a used wagon but he fixed it up for me and told me to use the wagon to go around the neighborhood and ask people that they need something from the store and if they did they would write it down on a sock or a handkerchief I would take it to the store then the store would fill the order I bring it back to the people and the mm -hmm. people would give me some of the money I earned money before I was five years old that was smart huh <laughs> Uh, what was your, well I guess that was your, was your first job as a child, huh? That was, that was the first job I can really remember is going to store for the uh, neighbors. But right after then, I used to go to farming with my older sisters and brothers. And I also remember cutting grass, lawns of people in the uh, neighborhood. And of course, papers, delivering papers. So I had two or three jobs all the time. At the same time, I always played. I was involved in a lot of playing. In school, skating, that was one thing we did a lot in the winter. We played baseball in the summer. We played football. We played swimming. We did everything. I was very involved in everything growing up, okay. besides school. Uh, well, how old were you when you got your first good paying job? Uh, all of those jobs were good paying to me. Good paying is probably relative to what bills you have, what you know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. I thought all of them were very good. But one job I particularly remember, I used to cut grass for a mobile home mm -hmm. place, or should we say a hotel. And it was a large job, and he had an automatic lawnmower. He paid me 75 cents an hour. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of money. It took me about three or four hours to do that once a week. And to me, that was a lot of money mm -hmm. at one time. And I remember that. So what did you do with these 75 cents an hour? Did you well, spend all, it wisely? Uh, from the beginning, whenever I made money, I gave it all to my mother. Mm -hmm. I didn't keep all the money. I kept mm -hmm. some of it for myself, but most mm -hmm. of my money went to my mother. Mm -hmm. And she used the money either for uh, the family needs mm -hmm. or she saved it. I do know this, Flo. When I graduated from high school, I had over five, my mother had over $5,000 saved of my money mm -hmm. that she had saved for me. So wow. I've always saved money at, uh, in 1961. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, were there any major events while growing up that you was involved in? There were quite a few. I remember a man by the name of Marsha Hinton, and he was very involved in civic activities. And one of the things that Marsha Hinton did, he got our street paved. He also made sure that the ditches were cleaned out. Mm -hmm. He also had all the streets in that uh, three-block area name changed, and he had all he named all of those. One of the things Marsha Hinton used to ask me to do is pass out flyers as I deliver papers. Mm -hmm. So I was involved in politics really early without really knowing that I am doing this, but because I was going door to door with the newspaper, he asked me would I slide the flyers. Mm -hmm. into the papers so everybody could read what was going on. He also uh, got lights for us at the uh, school to play baseball. We actually had a uh, summer leg, a pony leg, and we played uh, various teams throughout the area. The first year we didn't win any games. We <laughs> didn't know how to play. The second year we had a coach by the name uh, Choo Choo, mm -hmm. and he had gone to college, a black college, and he came back and he taught us fundamentals. How many steps it was, or how fast should you go to first base, how mm -hmm. many feet was the home, pot, the home plate to the pitchers. He taught us all the basic knowledge of baseball. Mm -hmm. And once we learned that, we were able to then win the uh, championship when I was probably 12 or 13. Mm -hmm. And we went on 
when we got in high school, most of the team members, team players, was people from that baseball team. Mm -hmm. And we went on, by the time I got in the 12th grade, and we won the state championship baseball team. Um, what were some of the community leaders uh, that you can remember as far as political, social, and religious that you can remember? Are you talking about when I was growing up or yes. are you talking about uh, later on? Well, later on or when you were growing up. I worked for a uh, politician after I got out here, mm -hmm. and I worked for a state senator uh, here in California. Mm -hmm. But before I do that, I think there were always political leaders that I saw as I was growing up mm -hmm. from carrying the newspaper. I could see their articles and I would read what was going on in the community as I delivered the uh, papers. So I was really involved in uh, pol politics even before I knew it. Mm -hmm. Well, we stop there and we'll come back and I'll, we'll develop as I go up. Okay. okay. Thank you for the interview.